Okay, it is time to talk about CarPlay and some of the changes in iOS 26 Beta 3. So as you can see here, one of the biggest changes coming to CarPlay is the availability of having widgets now. And jumping right into it, when you're not driving, you can edit widgets from CarPlay settings on your iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue this on and kind of show you what widgets that you have that you can kind of scroll through and have set up uh, depending on what you want. So we have some photos here and all that. This is going to be right to the left side of your home screen and your other apps as well. In your iPhone though, when you actually want to use this and you jump into settings, you can see there's a total new option for screen capture here. And this gives you the ability to edit and turn on CarPlay screenshots as well, if that's something you need. And then you can also jump into CarPlay itself, Civic, and you can see all of the available widgets that you might want to use. You can add widgets and you can see there are quite a few that are going to be available for you now in the app here. So very good to see. And again, you can do the same thing for your apps as you've been able to, to kind of adjust and add and remove at your leisure. So aside from that though, you can see we do have more of a frosted glassy interface, even though that is substantially more toned down as well as some of the apps you might have and you might want to launch. It just has all around a little bit of a different look for you. Beyond that, even more so though, let's jump into some of the settings so you can actually see some of the other changes here as well. And actually, before I do that, you can see the calendar icon actually changed also. It doesn't actually show the date anymore and hopefully they will bring that back because this is a little frustrating to not be able to just see at a quick glance. But when you jump into settings, you obviously do have your driving focus mode, which you can activate with CarPlay if you so choose. You can choose to turn on and off your announced messages. And then appearance is where you're really gonna see one of the other big changes here, where you can actually have always show maps in dark and automatic appearance. And you can customize your icons now again for a bigger change to have those clear icons if you want and have them in light mode, dark mode, or just auto and you can see exactly what they look like uh, when you so choose. So let's go ahead and go off of this and you can actually see really quick what that looks like. I personally think this looks really bad. I don't think it's attractive at all. And hey, take a look at this. The calendar app updated now when in the clear mode. Very interesting. Let's go back to customize icons really quick. Go to default and auto. And now it's back gone. How interesting of a bug is that? That does lead me to believe that with the next update for beta four, this should be fixed and we should yet again see our calendar date. So back into settings though, like I said, you saw customize icons and all that default dark clear. And then obviously you do have your wallpapers and you can see those new wallpapers from beta three that you can choose from and kind of just see exactly what they look like. Uh, I don't think they're anything too special here. I kind of like one of these older ones better. So I'll go ahead and set that. Um, and then that's all we have for wallpapers. Display. This is one I really do like. Smart Display Zoom. CarPlay will automatically optimize for your vehicle's display. Since we know there's no uniform real display size for CarPlay displays, if you turn this on, it'll change the zoom and make sure everything fits a little better and get you the most data-dense aspect of the display you're using. I've seen weird scenarios where when I've turned that on, it would automatically turn back off sometimes. So just keep that in mind. It's kind of weird there. And then you have your accessibility options for color filters, text size, bold text, and voice controls. And then obviously you're going to have Apple Intelligence and Siri, where you can automatically send suggestions in your dashboard and show apps behind Siri as well. It'll allow the current app to remain visible while Siri is active. And then you're gonna have your live activities now, if you so choose, that is a nice addition. And then silent mode as well. So not too, too much or anything crazy really in settings, but you can see exactly kind of how everything's been tweaked. And now again, since we've added this new zoom option here, you can see we can now fit a lot more icons on here and be able to use it a little easier. So yeah. If you jump into the media player, you can see those hints of Apple glass again, or liquid glass, still kind of hovering around, but you can't drag and drop like you do on your iPhone. So yeah, take that for what you want. Let me go ahead and just select a song for you to play and turn this down. Again, it's visually similar, 
but you can see those hints of liquid glass still in this build. I think it looks good. I don't think there's anything too crazy to this. You obviously have your share play options here as well, and all of your other autoplay and auto mix cues right in the music app. You do obviously have your radio and your library, and you do have a new downloaded category here as well if you wanted to see some of those options. And then if you wanted to look at some of your other apps, you can see here is one of the bugs already we just ran into from iOS and uh, CarPlay OS in 26. But you can obviously go into your vehicle model specific and get kicked out of CarPlay if you didn't need to look at that. You do have your podcasts app. And again, you can see the similar design language here and visual changes from before. So not too, too much else. I think it actually does look pretty good. We obviously know CarPlay Ultra is a thing and will be out uh, here in the next few months with the first partners. You're gonna have some changes where the dashboard actually will give you some more data as well as your secondary screen for CarPlay specific maps and things of that nature. So that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think down below. Are you a fan of some of these changes in the new uh, CarPlay settings in iOS 26? Let us know. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.